What's going on guys? I hope you're doing well. Uh, I find myself coming back to the same location over and over again and uh, over here at the Ottawa National Wildlife Refuge. Now it's not right on the long lake shore on the beaches, uh, but um, this place right over here is a haven for bald eagles. And as you know, I am on the hunt for an action shot of the bald eagle. And I found a, uh, a bald eagle's nest uh, not too far from here as the leaves are starting to change and the leaves are starting to fall off the trees. Um, you're able to see these nests a lot easier. So there are two or three different locations that I do like to go to back and forth to uh, that are close about an hour's drive from my house. Uh, and this is definitely one of them. You're gonna be seeing this location quite often on this channel. One thing is for certain, and that's guys, you don't need all the gear you think you need uh, on these kinds of trips. Um, I found that I overpack a lot and unless I'm going like on something that's gonna be like a once in a lifetime type trip, um, I, I really find myself packing less and less. Uh, so generally what I've kind of condensed everything down to is just a pair of binoculars here. You don't really need the, you know, high, the high end kind that are really expensive, just something that's gonna get the job done. And especially on these day trips, they're only gonna be a couple hours out. Uh, just have some kind of snacks and coffee or some kind of drink plan for the weather so uh, rain gear um, extra hoodie jacket something like that uh, extra t-shirt if it's in the summertime and then just uh, the bare essentials like one or two extra lenses and probably the one thing that i will say that you need more of that you can never have enough of are two things our memory cards have a case full of these suckers as well as a whole bunch of spare batteries especially when you're on location and you finally get that subject uh, that you've been waiting for and your memory is full on your memory cards or your battery dies and you don't have a spare battery. That sucks, I've been there many, many times. See these, uh, these burrs here? Man, these suckers will stick to your clothes. You'll get home and uh, you'll look like a porcupine. You can literally pull out your cell phone out of your back pocket and take a picture of, you know, a landscape, a hill, um, a sunset, a rainbow, you know, anything like that. But with wildlife, like you have almost no control over the wildlife. The chase after, you know, uh, the experience of connecting with wildlife on an intimate level that you never really see or have the opportunity to do. You're always wanting more. And that's what's so cool about it. Some pelicans down here. Let me get them real quick. So I got those pelicans, but in the meantime, I've heard the chirping of the bald eagle and I found he's perched right up on this other nest. Let me see if I can zoom in really quick. He's perched up right on top of, right next to his nest here. Come on, come on vlog, come on Cannon. Let's go Cannon. Put on the teleconverter. He's way out there. Yeah, it's sure enough, I heard him chirping, but he's way out there and I don't think there's a path that I can go. This is gonna be pretty bad quality just because the sun's going down, but I'm gonna put on my teleconverter and just see how much closer it's gonna to get to him. Yeah, he's up there just chilling. I was hoping maybe I'd be able to get through there or somehow there's a, a long side, maybe 
coming that way. I don't think that's gonna happen though. So I'm probably just gonna chill here for a few and uh, eat a Snickers or a Twix, or whatever I got, and uh, see if this dude moves. Hopefully during the winter time, all this will be packed with snow and all this brush down here will be dead and died off and I can get down there to get some lower shots. Oh, cramp, cramp, ah, cramp, cramp. I don't know if you've ever had a cramp before while sitting down. Ah. So as I wait to see if uh, this eagle is gonna move or not for me, I wanna give a really quick shout out to another YouTuber that I've been following for quite a while. Um, his name is Bayou Josh. He has like a little over 7,000 subscribers maybe. Uh, very, very awesome wildlife photographer. Um, and he's just one of those types of guys that you can relate to. Uh, he does, he's a very, very humble guy. Uh, he, he doesn't come across like he knows everything. Uh, he's just one of those types of guys that uh, you can connect with on YouTube, that you can just really um, see his passion uh, for wildlife photography and especially birding. He's a big birder and I'm kind of uh, getting hooked on birding because of him. Yeah, if you've never seen Bayou Josh, never heard of Bayou Josh, and you're into wildlife and birding photography, please give him a check out. A check out. Don't, I don't think he'll be watching this. I doubt he'll even see this, but I just want to give a shout out to him that if you, any of my followers that love wildlife photography, check out Bayou Josh. Let's, let's see if we can uh, get this guy uh, to move. he's getting ready to take off. I think he's gonna get ready. There's two of them. You can see, you can see the head popping out. This is really, really exciting, guys. I'm really hoping that uh, they come out of there. One of them comes out of the nest, or the other one comes down and comes into the water. Just, ugh, this is why it is so important uh, that I have to retrain my brain to use manual focus just because autofocus, it tends to hunt, especially the further away your subject is. If there's anything, just the slightest little thing in front of your subject, uh, it, be it trees, branches, the autofocus is gonna be hunting and it's gonna want to get on the closest thing to the lens. Why can't he just be like, right there, coming up to me, right in front of me, right on the water, right on this branch, this branch right here, right there. Why can't he be right there? <laughs> I'm gonna get him on that branch. One of these videos, he's gonna be a lot closer. I hope you guys have been enjoying uh, these photographs. Uh, they're nothing special, uh, nothing up close, uh, no really good portrait shots, but um, yeah, it, there's gonna be much more opportunities ahead in the future uh, to come out and uh, try to get that action shot of the bald eagle. 
I'm really hoping for a close-up shot. I, will, I think it'd be so cool to have one just come down and move and just, I'm gonna get that shot. I'm gonna get that shot. I'm gonna get it, I'm telling you. I wanna say these guys are about a good 75 to 100 yards away. They're pretty far out. So here's a little pro tip while you're waiting in the fall time and the winter time especially the winter time, uh, get those little hand warmers or those little toe warmers and uh, stick one in your boots and also put them in your gloves. Like during the winter time, slip them in your gloves and uh, that way your hands will stay really, really nice and warm. But another photographer told me during this fall and winter time when it's really super cold and you don't wanna uh, dig into your bag really quick to access uh, your gear and batteries, just slide, you know, when your battery's dead on your, on your, your camera, just keep uh, a spare battery in your hand, like inside your glove. You know, uh, you, you can keep it warm and, it'll, and your, your spare battery will stay warm. And also when your battery dies, uh, you'll have access to your very first battery uh, really quick. So just a little pro tip that I heard from another photographer. And of course, plenty of coffee. Well guys, I am losing light pretty fast. And it looks like those bald eagles are uh, nesting down for the night. Um, hope you guys enjoyed those few little oh, shots that I got of them perched up there. Nothing fancy, nothing special. Still not my action shot that I want, that I'm hoping for. So the search for that action shot along the water's edge continues. We will get it. We will get it. <laughs> Gotta be patient. I swear, I'm just gonna be walking, talking right to you guys, just like this, and all of a sudden, bam! He's gonna, he, he's gonna like land right there, right on a freaking branch, and I'm gonna have all my gear in my hands, and I'm gonna be like fumbling, trying to get the shot. Till the next video, guys. Uh, get outside, enjoy the opportunity that's in front of you with your cameras, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.